Good day everyone and welcome to Exile News, the weekly show that brings you all of the important news and information on Path of Exile, starting the week with a free download for the Thaumaturgy Mystery Box soundtrack, as it is custom, GG has released the, the soundtrack for free, and you can just right click over here the .flag or .mp3 and uh, well save as and you got your free music, which is always pretty nice. Also. Early in the week, we got the reasons why the Purposeful Harbinger Notable Passive has been nerfed. And, well, this completely broke the game pretty much. So, the skill granted a 10% increased effect of aura buffs on you for each herald affecting you. And you used to stack these jewels, so you get like 400% increased effect or 350% increased effect of aura buffs on you. And the problem with this was that there are a lot of things in Path of Exile that are coded as auras, but uh, people don't really know it and uh, it shouldn't be like that. It's just that it's useful to be coded like that, but uh, it is totally counterintuitive. For example, uh, the Tailwind enchantment on Boots uh, was amplified by this. And uh, for example, even uh, negative effects on the players at the beginning of the league were amplified. So for example, there is, an, um, there is a slow, there is an effect in the Delirium Mist which slows you and it was amplified by this to the point that you completely froze in place if you got into that and basically died. So the build was pretty much broken in many aspects and uh, now, now it has been fixed as in it now reads increase effect of aura buffs from skills on you. So the fact that it goes from skills means that basically only auras and uh, accepted aura buffs are available. And the build is still working really well and the build is still really 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 strong, just is not broken as fuck as it used to be like for the latest weeks. And well, GG uh, didn't react really well to this. And we'll, uh, we'll see a little bit more in a couple of seconds. First up, the actual patch notes of the patch that was um, that went live on Thursday. And it's about a gigabyte to download. So if you haven't done so, uh, just leave it there. Especially if you have a low internet, maybe uh, do it during the night. I don't know. I don't know if people still has uh, uh, slow internet, but I'm sure somehow, somewhere uh, there still is. Anyway, uh, there's a couple delivery improvements beside the change to the purpose for Harbinger. Uh, for example, active Legion encounter now causes delivery mist to pause during both the frozen phase and the combat phase, while previously it was just the frozen phase, so uh, a very nice uh, quality of life there, except the fact that you still cannot loot anything. Uh, because the timer is ticking down after you finish the encounter. I wonder though if you leave one monster alive how that works. Also, uh, the active blight encounters now cause the living mist to pause its movement while you are around light portals, actually a large range around light portals and not just the high core pump. This is because portals can spawn uh, kinda far away, so if you went far too far away from the pump, it just didn't work out. And there are a few other things, several bug fixes, some general improvements on Cirrus. So first up, he now only used the Meteor and Corridor skills when the apparition is not using a skill. Uh, to be honest, it was pretty hilarious to see people teleported into the, the Meteor, to, into the maze, and then being Meteored from above. Uh, it was literally the unfairest thing I've ever seen. But, I mean, it was obviously a bug, so... It's now fixed, and there's a couple other fixes to Cirrus and the Atlas, and of course more bug fixes in general. An important thing, however, is the trade API, uh, which had a couple problems in several day, in several past days and weeks actually. And uh, the problem is that it's under a very high load, mostly is generated from the third-party programs, the usual third-party programs that are not respecting reasonable rate limits with their requests so they continually try to request stuff from this from the api so the and uh, the api kind of gets uh, cobbled by these kind of things if you're using one of these tools and it's not working it's probably because of that and if you're doing if you're making one of these tools 
uh, definitely implement some kind of backoffs when you receive an unsuccessful response. Otherwise, you're just going to make the situation worse instead of trying to fix it. So hopefully that will uh, make trade a little bit better or actually that will make trade possible if I have to say that and well we'll see we'll see if that works out. Also here we got another post by GGG basically saying they are sorry for the way they handled the whole purposeful harbinger thing. That is because uh, at the beginning when the, when the skill where the build rose to very strong level and it became clear how strong it was. Uh, GG didn't really realize how deep this run into the game and uh, also it was the time during the time that New Zealand went into a lockdown so GG had to relocate every uh, worker to their home to be able to work from home so what they did that was one of the problems the other was the fact that they actually said Bex said on reddit that uh, they would not uh, nerf the build so people invested into the build and after that GG realized how big the, their mistake was, how broken this build was in truth. So they decided to nerf it mill the league even though they generally don't do it. But this build really broke the game way too hard so they had to do it and uh, yeah of course some people lost time, currency, faith, uh, whatever. Yeah I mean it's it really sucks when you just devote yourself to something and then you see it taken away from you on the other side uh, you need to think that this is a game and uh, well you might just want to have fun in the game of course uh, it's still gonna suck really really hard so but the main problem i see with this situation is the fact that this build was not tested like was not tested at all absolutely zero percent tested because you would have definitely noticed something was broken if you had tried to stack uh, all of these jewels in a playtest and this shows that uh, the playtesting part of Path of Exile is one of uh, the parts that is really below uh, the, the average of everything else right now and I do not want to bash on the people that are actually doing playtests but I think they really don't have enough time to playtest these kind of things because something like this, uh, I mean, it's not a crazy interaction. It's just stacking one jewel that was actually meant to be stacked in the first place. So not really surprised uh, that it's so strong. Just a surprise that it wasn't tested uh, at all. But anyway, actually, Path of Exile won this year of the BAFTA Award for Evolving Game. If you don't know, the British Academy of Film and Television Arts have included games for a long time now uh, into uh, films and television into their annual award ceremonies and this year Path of Exile actually won the evolving game against some games on the caliber of the Apex Legend, Destiny 2, Final Fantasy, uh, Fortnite and No Man's Sky which is pretty pretty nice competition pretty good competition there so definitely a really nice award and the game has absolutely evolved a lot uh, not necessarily all in the positive ways but i'm sure we'll see we'll see the true evolve on uh, the game when path of exile 2 actually launches which is gonna be one year probably from now maybe more uh probably like next year for the winter release but we'll have to see how that goes uh hopefully it's gonna be absolutely amazing well it's definitely gonna be absolutely amazing hopefully it's gonna fix most of the problems of the underlying game problems that are uh, on the current version but anyway that was all for this week so if you enjoyed the video leave a like and a comment down below also if you want to remain updated every week be sure to subscribe to my channel that was all i've been your host zorzo and i'll see you guys the next time